Hi and welcome to Totally Holistic Health. My name's Julie and it's so good to see you this morning. Um, today we're going to look at um, poses that strengthen up the arms. Uh, a lot of yoga tends to focus more on the legs with sort of very strong sort of warrior practices and um, you know, building that strength and flexibility in the legs and the hips. Um, however, um, I know my personal issue is tend to um, have the lack of strength in my arms. So it's quite nice just to do a few um, very gentle yoga practice just to help build up some strength into the arms. So we're going to start off on our hands and knees. So if you, um, also you might want to have um, a belt as well handy as well because we might need that in a minute. So we're going to bring uh, the fingers underneath or the hands underneath the shoulders and then the knees underneath the hips. And again, just make sure that your fingers are nice and widely spread just to help protect that wrist, those wrists, because obviously a lot of shoulder um, balance is tight or, or working with the shoulders and the arms tend to put a lot of pressure through the wrists. So just making sure that you've got a nice flat back. So we're just going to very gently just lower the belly down towards the floor. We're just going to try to just mobilise the spine. So really, really engaging the belly down towards the floor, bringing the head up. And then arching away from the floor. Again, keeping that strength in the arms, stucking the head down between the arms, and just looking towards the belly button. And then going the other way again, just lengthening the front of the body, bringing the head up. And again, arching away, just trying to get some flexibility in that spine, coming into a nice neutral spine. And if you want to, just moving the hips from side to side. Okay, so from this position, we're going to just very gently push back with the right leg. So keeping the toes on the floor, really stretching out the back of the body. So again, you should have a lovely stretch all the way into the calves into the hamstrings. Again, we're still keeping that strength in the arms. Again, so we put a lot of strength through those arms to hold you upright. So try not to sink into the shoulders, really, really grounding down with the feet, sorry, with the hands. Okay, so we're going to push the top of the foot into the floor, raise that leg up into the air. Okay, so really, really nice and strong with that leg. If, you could, if you're struggling to keep that leg up, just keeping your sort of, you don't have to be parallel with the floor or anything, but just the main thing is making sure that you're dropping that hip down. Okay, and if that feels okay, just bringing the left arm up. So really stretching forward with the left arm, pushing back with the right foot. Engaging that core. And then very gently coming back. Okay, second side. So pushing back with the left heel. And really strong in the arms. So pushing the top of that right foot into the floor, raising that left leg up. So again, it doesn't have to be that far, it can be whatever suits you, but try to keep it parallel if you can, no higher than that. Again, just keeping the core nice and strong, bringing the right arm out, reaching forward with that right arm, flexing back with the left. And then bringing the hands and the knees back down. I'm actually just going slightly further forward actually. So now we're going to just stretch back with the right leg and then with the left. It's really, really grounding down with those arms. Shoulders back, nice plank, pushing back into a downward dog. You can pedal the feet out here as well. Just really stretch the back of the body and come forward again into a plank. Again, keeping the fingers nice and wide just to protect those wrists. And again here if you want to challenge yourself, maybe just bring one leg up into the air. And then the other. Pushing back into that downward dog. Again, we really enjoy that stretch on the back body. Very gently, we're going to come down onto our knees. So we'll keep the elbows very close into our side and very gently lowering ourselves down onto the floor. Moving the belt out of the way. So keeping the hands level with the chest. Really engaging the feet into the floor, pubic bone really engaged, nice and strong in the glutes. Going to very gently come into a gentle back bone. Really reaching forward with the chest. And gently pushing back into a pose of a child. And again, from here, you can just take a few moments just to really do some rotations with the wrists. Because, you know, 
being on the hands and knees does actually put a lot of pressure through the wrist so you know, it can be quite hard to do and very gently we're going to come forward so we're going to come forward onto our forearms now we have a couple of options with this one so we're going to do come into a forearm plank so um, you can do it with the knees down onto the floor so very gently we're going to bring the weight through into those arms bring the chest forward and come into a nice low plank again engaging that core and then we can push back dropping the head down between the arms and this is a really nice stretch in the shoulders so again this might suit if you haven't got too much core strength or you're feeling a little bit tired today I always like to give you options so if you want to strengthen yourself up a little bit more we can come into dolphin pose so bring the toes off the to bring the toes curled under knees off the floor and then stretching back bring the head down between the arms again and then gently bring the weight forward into the forearms nice plank stretching back again really opening up those shoulders and then very gently coming forward and get into another plank and if you want to go back again and again coming forward bring the knees down and again dropping back into that pose of a child coming back up. So we've done quite a lot of um, stretching into the shoulders and into the arms. So just to release the shoulders a little bit, I'm going to get a belt. Now if you haven't got, actually got a yoga belt, you can use um, a dressing gown belt or a tie. If your husband's got one that you can use or just any sort of like type of rope, a pair of tights or something that's not too stretchy. So we're going to bring that belt over the left shoulder. Okay, so just bring the shoulder blades down. So again, just Notice those sensations you can actually feel. So we're going to bring the left arm up. And then bend that arm and just see if you can grab hold of that belt. And then bring the right arm up the back. And again, just grabbing hold of that belt. And again, just try to allow those shoulder blades to come together. It's also really important to actually just release the jaw and allow the neck to soften as well. So you're not putting too much pressure in that upper back. Really just enjoying that lovely stretch in the triceps. And then very gently releasing out those arms. Let's do some nice shoulder rolls just to release those shoulders a little bit. And then we're going to swap the belt into the right arm. And again, just notice how that feels first. So we're going to bring the right arm up. And again, grabbing back onto the belt. So the idea eventually is what you're trying to do is just basically interlock the fingers behind the back. And if you can do that without a belt, that's absolutely fine. If you do have restrictions in your shoulders, you're going to be struggling with that one. So bring the left arm up the back. And again, just grabbing hold of the belt. And just, again, try to make sure that your head is in line with your spine. And just releasing the jaw. And again, just allowing yourself to breathe and release and to balance up those arms and the shoulders. down okay so removing the belt we're going to do eagle arms now just to release the shoulders at the back so we're going to bring the right arm up the front the left arm underneath that and we're going to wrap it round so you might find that either the backs of your hands um, are fine like that or if you can just have it so the palms of your hands are reaching now if you're struggling with this it could just be you might find that you've got one arm it feels as if you've got one arm shorter than the other it's not it's just the fact that your shoulders are restricted so if you struggle to do this you can just cross your arms over and give yourself a big hug and again if you want to again just raising the elbows up so if you are in the traditional eagle pose either the palms of the backs of the hands or the palms of the hands again you can just raise the arms up and just allow that lovely stretch in the back of the body and then releasing back down so we do the second side now 
So we're going to bring the left arm up first, the right arm underneath. And again, either the backs of the hands together or palms. And again, raising the arms up. So you've got that lovely stretch in the shoulders, or if that's too, too much of a challenge, just crossing your arms over and again, just raising your elbows up. And again, you've still got that lovely stretch in the shoulders. And again, this is really something you can do at a desk if you're stuck at, um, in an office with a really tight shoulders. And then very gently, we're going to release down. It gives you some nice shoulder rolls just to release your shoulders. Wonderful. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that will um, give you a little bit of more um, strengthening in the arms. It's not one of my favourite things to do, I will say, um, but obviously it has to be done. It's really, really good for if you're going to move on to more sort of um, sort of slightly stronger practices like doing crows and sort of more uh, shoulder stands and stuff like that. So you do need to have that strength in your arms. So again, it's one that I'm working on. So I will probably join you again very soon and add a few more um, yoga know, practices on there just to do the strengthening of the arms. So until next time, I will see you soon. Take care then. Bye-bye.